We're also learning that Russian media say the court in Moscow ordered that journalist to remain behind bars pending this investigation on spying charges. Well, a similar case that played out about four years ago uh, with that former U.S. Marine and contractor, Paul Whelan. He remains behind bars tonight over similar charges that he was convicted on in a Russian courtroom. Well, I spoke with his brother, David Whelan, about what he thought when he heard the news today that American journalist uh, there, uh, Evan Gershkovich, is in the similar predicament like his brother. Paul, here's our conversation. And we continue to follow the breaking news that a Wall Street Journal reporter uh, has been arrested for alleged spying in Russia, taken into custody just today. Uh, and his name uh, is Evan Gershkovich. And we continue to follow this story. We'll be speaking about this uh, throughout the course of our coverage tonight. We want to bring in, though, to the conversation David Whalen, uh, whose brother, of course, Paul Whalen, has been in uh, Russian captivity for some time now. Uh, and David, thanks so much for being with us. When you saw this news today, uh, did you get some type of deja vu, thinking that another family is going to have to relive what your family has now lived through? Absolutely, yeah. I had a, a, a real sinking feeling this morning when I saw that he had been arrested. Uh, an American had been arrested at all in Russia, but then to see that he had been charged in the same way with espionage, had been arrested and you know, the charges had been announced in the same way, that he'd been given an FSB, a lawyer in the same way, it really is uh, eerily uh, parallel to what Paul experienced and uh, and what we've gone through. You know, when was the last time that you've spoken to Paul, uh, either via, you know, correspondence or on the phone? Is it regular or irregular? Since September 2020, uh, when he was uh, sent from the port of a prison to the labor camp where he is, he's been able to make almost daily phone calls. So our parents were able to speak to him yesterday. Yeah. And just remind our viewers, how long has he been in Russian captivity? Uh, 51 months. So four years and three months uh, since uh, since he was arrested in the same way as uh, Mr. Gershkovich. So uh, Gershkovich is uh, up on these uh, similar charges of espionage uh, that your brother Paul has been brought up on. Uh, and do you worry that it's going to play out the same uh, for this reporter? I do, and I feel terrible for what he is uh, perhaps going to have to go through and what his uh, family might have to go through. It is a, it's an awful experience. It is all theater. Um, it's a secret trial with secret evidence uh, and really a, a, an unavoidable conclusion if it goes the same way as it did with Paul's, which is that he will be convicted and uh, sentenced to uh, many, many years in a labor camp. What would be your advice to uh, Gershkovich's friends, family, colleagues? Uh, how do you get through this? How do you cope day to day? I think it requires a lot of resilience and uh, and maintaining hope even when there may not seem to be any. Uh, and uh, when you hit a, 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 a wall to uh, to find a way around it, um, there are always new things to look for and to try. Uh, and in the same way, that's what we hope the White House is doing for Paul, uh, is looking for uh, new ways, new opportunities to bring him home, even when uh, resources that have been used in the past uh, to help other people get home. Um, and, uh, and he hasn't. Yeah. You and your family, though, have become uh, the gold standard for raising awareness about detained Americans abroad. Uh, that's my view. Uh, and so what more, though, uh, can the White House do? Can the State Department do? Are negotiations ongoing right now behind the scenes? Have they stalled to bring Paul home? What do we know about that? Well, that's where we're really stuck. Uh, we hear the same thing that you do, which is that the uh, State Department has made a number of proposals to the Russian government. One of those proposals brought Brittany Griner home. Uh, obviously, they were successful bringing Trevor Reed home. Um, but none of those proposals yet have brought Paul home. And, and so we're not sure whether uh, it, it's because uh, the Kremlin really isn't that willing or whether the uh, White House and the State Department and uh, so on have, have really pulled out all of the resources that they can. Uh, and I think that's my concern as, as the months go by, uh, as the years go by, uh, you wonder whether um, everything is being done that can be done. Do you think it helps or, or mitigates the situation uh, of Evan Gershkovich that he has a major American news media organization behind him? Uh, does that lend any, you know, credence to this uh, of possibly, you know, resolving this very, very quickly? It's hard to know. I mean, I think that that's the that same thing that every family faces. Uh, you know, Mark Swyden in, in China and Kylie in China and uh, Simak Namazi in Iran and Iman Shargi in Iran. If we are going to let Americans sit because they don't have the resources of a large company or 
or other uh, resources available to them. I think that that's uh, unfair. So I I'm hoping that that isn't the case. I'm hoping that what will happen is that his, his role uh, will help to uh, continue to shine the spotlight on arbitrary detentions between nation states and perhaps uh, give the White House opportunities it hasn't in the past to, to, uh, to bring uh, Mr. Gershkovich home and hopefully bring Paul home as well. Yeah. Um, just for our viewers, though, how, how is Paul doing? How is he holding up? You've been in regular contact. Does he still have hope? I, I think he does have hope. Uh, I think you have to have hope to survive. Uh, and we've seen some American detainees in some countries not be able to do that and yeah. attempt suicide and, and other things. And so, you know, every day that we hear that Paul is still healthy and well uh, and is surviving, that's, that's an important uh, piece of information for us. And, and I think he's doing the best he can. Uh, David Whalen, we appreciate your time, your insight into this. So we'll definitely be speaking again, and thank you so much. Thanks, Andrew. Okay, that was David Whalen there. You were just listening to a conversation I had with him earlier today uh, about the status of his brother, Paul Whalen, uh, who's been in Russian captivity for some time. I got his reaction upon the news now that uh, Evan Gershkovich, this Wall Street Journal reporter, is in the same predicament that Paul Whalen finds himself in and has found himself in for well over four years. So uh, according to our sources here, Gerskovich is the first American reporter to be arrested on espionage charges in Russia since September of 1986, when Nicholas Daniloff, a Moscow correspondent for U.S. News and World Report, was arrested by the KGB. Also, we're getting a statement in from the Wall Street Journal. I'm going to read it right now. It says, the Wall Street Journal vehemently denies the allegations from the Federal Security Service and seeks the immediate release of our trusted and dedicated reporter, Evan Gershkovich. We stand in solidarity with Evan and his family. And so this is a case we will have to stay on top of here on Live Now from Fox, of course, as the war in Ukraine continues. Uh, this is somewhat tangential to that, but nonetheless still intertwined.